Esa niña no se aguanta. Quiere todo porque el pussy sabe a cuanta. Si la dejas por pendejo se te casa. Dale todo, dos de lengua y una horchata. Si te alcanza. I'm the shit, huh? Are you catching what I'm throwing for a pickup? You know what I'm saying? Hey, we back in this bitch. Um, as you guys know, what I've been doing lately, obviously, is being on YouTube. We keep a stream going from the um, TikTok as promotional services to fucking go over there. We already said if we hit 1K viewers on the YouTube, my mom and I will take a little, you know, we should have a different name for it since apparently now we got to be, we got to be, mm. uh, what's the word? Um, editing ourselves or like um, censoring ourselves to make sure that shit doesn't get messed up. But Y'all already know who this lady right here is. She gave birth to Ido. She gave birth to Snowy. She is the grandma of baby Drew. The one and only. The don't be a caca baby around her. The traumatizing <laughs> and traumatized family drama, but also millionaire making. Doña Daniela Mesa, her motherfucking self. Everybody applaud for this lady right applauso. here. We in this bitch. Cheers, mom. Aplauso, aplauso. Hey. Hello. Okay, I asked the chat what we should call instead of a shot. Instead of, uh, you know, what we be taking, what do y'all want to call it? And then that way that could be our motherfucking... Um, you said I'm getting skinnier, Joyce Parra! <laughs> my fucking prima, Joyce Parra, in this bitch. She's not actually my prima, but fuck it. We keep calling her prima, ma, porque ella le gusta rapear. Ah, sí, sí. Le gusta rapear con nosotros. Nos manda un freestyle, aunque rime o no rime. Even if it doesn't make sense, she freestyles. She oh. don't give a fuck. She'll say, she'll talk to you about her day, and she has no censor. El valor es el más importante. Exactly. Que el talento. Yeah. Bravo. So, yeah. Bravo, um, prima de Claudia. Yeah. And thank God, uh, thank you very much for mentioning that I'm losing weight. I do think, I do think I'm losing weight. I don't know how much, but I am a lot. I am happy that I've been sticking to my keto because I do feel like I, f I feel like I look a little bit better. So I feel better about, sorry, myself. And that in turn makes, you know, you know, when you're depressed, when you're going through depression. So like every little bit helps, mm -hmm. you know, that's yeah. the good thing is like, okay, well, shit, I was depressed. But today, I mean, I think I look a little better or today, you know, I took a shower. Hey, <laughs> we're winning mm -hmm. <laughs> that type of shit. You know, that type of depression. Todo cuenta. Yeah. So it's good. Mm -hmm. Todo bueno. Um, move the mic on your mom. Oh. Está muy cerca. Sabes que hazte poquito para acá para que el micrófono no te tape la boca. O la cara. Las, ah. You know? Pero poquitito nomás. No puedo. Well, you get closer, it'll be... Sí, si te acercas poquito va a estar mejor. Y también el micrófono no va a estar en tu, en tu cara. Ahí está. There we go. Perfect. Es que luego te da crastofobia. No, no me da crastofobia. Crastofobia porque me acerco mucho y te da la pata, te da la taquicardia. Okay, you so those are the uh, answers for what we should call shots. Instead. They said we should call them pops, dogs, chupito. Agua bendita. Okay, I don't want God to strike me. Fondo. <laughs> call it time to party, excitement juice, a cuppa, a mini. I like them. I think Chupito's kind of funny because that is what they call them in Colombia. So I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. Jello, you won that round. Happy Jello hand. said we should call them a Chupito because, ma, tú sabes eso? Si tú vas a Colombia, o oh, donde más? Where was I recent? Oh, no, no. That's not what they call them in Chupito. I mean, in Colombia, they call them that in um, Spain. Oh. Uh, Remember? Yeah. They were like a Chupito. Yeah, 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 it's in Spain. That's right. I remember because we were over there taking that that um, chupitos or whatever. And then she confused me. Oh, yeah, that was a bad story. <laughs> Pero que significa chupito en España? Shot. Ah. Yeah. So from now on, to all my TikTok um, viewers and to all my YouTube viewers, whenever we're like, oh, nos vamos a tomar un chupito, it's going to be that because we can't be out here talking about. And TikTok me bloquean. Ok, vamos por un chupito. Un chupito, ya. Yeah. Bueno, voy a echarme un chupo. <laughs> <laughs> no tengo flojera, chis chupito, ¿qué? Okay? No, no. Jesus Christ. My mom just offending a whole fucking... <clears throat> no voy a echar toda la... Se vez. llama un chupito, es que así se llama, ma. Sí, pero me da flojera así, chupito. Mejor, hay un chupo. That's even worse. <laughs> yeah. Es corto, pues. You're calling it a chupo? Un chupo. 
That's gross. On chupito. You know what's very good? This keto, keto tres leches cake. Sí, delicioso. Me gusta mucho el tres cake, el tres leches cake. Tres cake leches. Mom, what is happening with you today? Ya me hizo daño la cerveza y el licor que me tomé hace rato. Yeah. All right. Como yo no, yo no he empezado a tomar apenas hace, desde que vengo aquí con Claudia, yo antes no tomaba. Yeah, right. Por eso yo, a mí me Ido, hace... Mi, oh, Ido, pop up as the sun, please. Am I lying or am I not lying that mommy, mommy's, mommy's always dated dudes that drink. So you drink. I just you feel just like you drink right. with them. What the hell are you popping up as the sun on me? Mom, do you love me now because I'm, I'm Ido? Uh -huh. Do you love me more now that that's Ido's face? No, igual te quiero. A los dos igual. Yeah, right. You love crees? Ido more. No, nunca, nunca. ¿Cómo crees? Tú eres la reina, la primera hija que yo tuve en mi vida. Yeah, right. Hmm. Sí. So if you had another kid, would you want a boy or a girl? Otro niño. No más quería otro niño. Ya no quiero más niñas. Chiquillas latosas. That's how she feels about girls. Like, she hates girls. That's what's wild. Huggito. Amo la mamá de Snow, right? That's the thing about my mom and narcissists, is that they're so, char like, charismatic. They You love them. You want their attention. You want their acceptance. You want their approval. But, like, them themselves, like, they give it to who they give it to, and they don't give a fuck about mm -hmm. you, your feelings, Nothing. They are themselves in their own energy. I love that. That's why I grew up looking up to my mom because I was like, yo, I want to be like that. Like, I want to be that that person. That's fucking fire. Good job, mom. I mean, bad job on some stuff, but good job on some stuff. What do you have here? Popcorn and lemon? Sí. Que palomitas. ¿Quieres? <laughs> no, thank you, mom. I'm on keto. No puedes comer palomitas? No. No, it looks delicious, though. I would love to be able to eat popcorn. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. No. Yeah. Well, oh. no mas, no mas. Manny's okay. out here giving out times out. Thank you, Manny. Thank you, Manny. Thank you, Jello. Thank you, Chisel. Thank you, um... Joey Brown, and thank you, Bucci. Gracias, Marcela Gómez. Muchas gracias por darme la bienvenida. My comfort podcast, right? I like that. I would like to be, like, if I could, if I could, in 2023, like, make the podcast more active. Thank you, Jello. Yeah, did I say Jello? Yeah, right? Um, that, that, uh, if I could make the podcast more, like, consistent, And be like, you know, because I do think it's my comfort, too, to be honest. Like, I feel like um, I feel good when I'm constantly, like, connected with y'all. Which maybe that's my codependence, you know? Like, we codependent on each other. Even though I just read this book called Codependent No More, which was very fucking important. And I suggest everybody read it. Whether you think you're codependent or not, honestly, it's just a good read. Uh, it's, it's, it's a good audiobook. I don't think I would have liked to spend that much time reading the entire book, but I'm glad that I listened to it on audiobook when I was at an airport or when on plane or whatever. I have it in mind if you want to listen to it. Um, that's a good book. Um, just because a lot of us are codependent. A lot of us grew up in like and became codependent with other people. And so it's important to free yourself of that, you know? Um, yeah, it's lit. My mom likes your mom. Nice. Oh, mom, people got Hola. mom crushes on you? Hola. Not like that. Santiago Flores. Ma, have you ever read a book? Or? <laughs> no, never. Mom, have you ever <laughs> read a book? Never in my life. Okay, that's where I get it from. I don't like reading either. Ido doesn't like to read Shh. books. But audiobook, you don't want an audiobook? It's kind of like a podcast. Yeah, yeah, that's a different thing. But that's not reading. I'm talking about reading. Like sí. if you read, sí, reading lee. letters in pages ¿Quién es tu papá, dice? is a whole different thing. It's like driving a car versus walking somewhere. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll listen to audio, but just like I'll get in a car and go somewhere. Yeah. So listen to an audio book. I have Audible now. Yeah. 
I don't think you're codependent, though. I think, like, that's probably not the great, like, but I have other books that you might like. Oh, yeah. You know? Maybe. I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad when I was, like, I don't know, like, 19 or something. That definitely made, that set me up. I feel like some books have lessons you already know is just good to kind of keep reiterating them into your brain. Like, cause I already knew, like I knew ma, yes or no. I knew when I was a little, remember when I was like depressed and, and, and you, remember that time when you and your ex picked me up and took me to Denny's and I told you, I don't know what it is, but I don't belong here. Like I, I'm like, I'm depressed. Remember? Yeah. That was right before I made, I became a rapper. Like I literally was like, I was not happy. I did not want to go to school. It I didn't want to go to college. I, yeah. Like I didn't want to go to college. I didn't want to do none of that shit. All I wanted to do, I was like, I don't know what it is, but I know that I meant to do something else and fuck all this shit. Do you know the balls it took to like really at that time, you didn't have no TikTok. You didn't have no YouTube. You didn't have none of that shit. Like all you had was like, if you really had the guts to do it, you would just fucking do it. And that's what I did. I was like, I went. Right after that, I went, I started my business, I got a DBA. I suggest this to everybody watching the fucking TikTok and the fucking live stream. Go get yourself a DBA in your fucking city, whatever, wherever you at, right? That shit is gonna be like 20 bucks. You're gonna go, you're gonna, they're gonna make you research if that, that business is taken up in your city or in your town or whatever. You go, you get that shit, and then they make you put it in like a paper or something or whatever just to make it like a legitimate business. Then you, you get that number. You go and you open a bank account. Then you go and get an EIN number. Um, you With that EIN number, now you can self-employ like yourself, right? So then with that, depending on what type of business you want, now you can start having write-offs. So, you you know, you buy certain things or whatever the fuck. You have those write-offs. So even like even if it's your hobby, you can treat it like a business. And then you um, you start growing it from there. And that's kind of like the only way you survive in America. Yeah, I want to say something about that. What? How we how we survive when we were like ten years, eight, nine, ten, twelve. We no internet, no TV, a, a little bit of food, not much clothes. How we survive? How we are fine? Be well, because all you needed was food. And shelter? What do you mean? What is the question? <laughs> how did we... How did is it a question or are you trying to no. give like motivation? Yeah, like uh -huh. what are you... Uh. Motivación. ¿Cómo sobrevivimos nosotros? How, we, how can we do that on those years? Yeah. We don't have nothing. True. It's like a rhetorical no TV, question? No, is that no what she's TV, trying to ask? No money, no, no internet, no car, no nothing. Well, I think because honestly, back then, mm -hmm. it, the standard was different. Right? Yeah, because now everybody complain about everything, about com about depression, about this, about that, and it was everything in this country. They we have you're everything. Zoom into her. Oh, She's sorry, talking. it's because I'm making the thumbnail thing. But um, but what my as as the question, what like what are you what are you trying to say? I try to say why people not happy and complaining with almost everything. Because so back then there was no complaining. I think back then there was complaining too. Mom. No, yes, oh. not not that much like now, or like on the eighties. Well, I think also though the standard was different. Like I think back then, for example, there's a lot of things that maybe you have traumas about that you can talk about now that before you didn't even know that was a trauma, mm -hmm. right? Right or wrong? Like, como si, como si... Enfocado en proyectos, yes. Enfocados en vivir en aquellos años. Enfocado en salir adelante, seguir adelante. Es poca educación, po poco dinero. Vida y salud si teníamos. Todo era limitado, pero no era para morirnos ni para, ni para querer... este. No para morirnos ni para querer estar en una vida depresiva diario, no. To the person that said, who's the interviewer? I mean, I don't think there's an interviewer. I think my mom, this is my mom. This is me. We happen to be live on YouTube. You could check it out. And this TikTok is live. We vibing. We chilling. My mom, my mom grew up in Mexico, one of nine. 
There was a lot of poverty, a small town. <laughs> there was a lot of things. I think it's very much like undiagnosed stuff, like traumas and stuff like that, that back then, because there was lack, there was less information, there was less questions about it. It just is what it was. I think the more information that you get, the more you ask questions or the more that you can identify a problem. I agree with that. I agree with the fact that nowadays I do think that we're overly sensitive and I think that overly identifying or overly labeling things does create its own problem because for example, before you'd just be like, oh, I'm a little sad or I'm this, I'm that. I got to figure it out. I got to get over it. Whereas now it could be like, yo, I suffer from depression, anxiety, OCD, ADHD, PTSD, you know, uh, like all these type of things. And now you kind of, it's almost like you create a bar around you and that shit becomes a cell. <laughs> like at some point that shit really becomes a jail cell where now you're like, I will never be that guy because I have all these bars around me that is keeping me in this fucking jail cell that exists because I now can identify all these fucking problems, right? But if you go through that and you go, okay, cool, like I can identify that, but at the same time, yes, I can compare myself to a fucking caveman that would have had to do shit, that would have had to go out there and hunt and gather, that would have had to go, <laughs> then you gotta fucking figure that no. shit out and be like, um, like... How can I move forward? No, no. Because, yeah, labels hold power over yourselves. Exactly. That's why a lot of times you really can't, like, for example, the more labels that we have in the queer community, mind you, this is just, this is not even dealing with mental health. This is just saying the more labels there are within the queer community or anybody or sexuality or anything, you just have all these fucking labels and now you're like, you better identify as one of them. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to. I'd rather not. I'd rather not tell you what I identify, what, what the, what the fuck, leave me alone. How about that? Leave me the fuck alone and let me just be and I will just exist, right? That's the same thing sometimes when it comes to um, like mental health things or like problems that we have or whatever. It's like the more things that we fucking sit there and pinpoint and go, the more that you are now thinking about all those things instead of just being like, yo, Yes, a lot of fucking people have depression. A lot of people have anxiety. But I come from nothing. My parents were immigrants. I came from, I didn't have any fucking roadmap to how I was going to do this. But I still somehow made a good living for myself. Like, that's dope. That's a good fucking story to tell you. Yeah. Like, I didn't we have always, nothing great about yeah. me necessarily. And I made my life be what it is now and i'm very happy for it so if i could be some sort of motivation for you is like yo trust me i still have depression i still have anxiety i still suffer from these things i still have social anxiety i still suffer from these things but i didn't let that be my jail cell to hold me back to why i am now limited to this like fuck that bro i'm gonna still wake up some days wanting to fucking cry still wake up some days not wanting to do anything but I will hold myself accountable and do certain things based off the fact that tengo palabra and I'm going to fucking do what I said I was going to do and I'm going to show up and I'm not going to hold myself to be a victim to my mental health issues and I'm not going to sit there and be like, well, because, you know, I can't really show up today because I'm this or that. Like, no, sometimes you really, really are at that point where you just have to give yourself that time. But sometimes hold yourself a fucking accountable and show up for people like Imagine if every single time I didn't feel like doing something, I'm like, my mental health, I got to put me first. Like, no, sometimes fucking show up, be accountable. Don't be a fucking pussy. Show up. And bam. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, you're going to stack yourself a good amount of money. You're going to buy yourself a nice house. You're going to fucking be living a good life. And you're going to look around and be like, yo, that's crazy. I didn't even think I could have done this, you know? Mm. But yeah, I don't know. I think that's where my mom was going. Yeah, what I try to say is uh, you never talk about we always have good insurance from work. Your mm -hmm. father have good health insurance. I don't think always. I don't you, think always. Let's him. let's be honest. Let's then really I be have honest. I my insurance for you and for him. I took to the dentist. Let's I took therapy. Yeah, I have I we had the I had the in basic our apartment needs by ourselves. Yeah. Let's we don't leave other people. We we're not. Leave. We're not gonna sit here and do that because then I mm -hmm. could say my things and I. Yeah. Could, you know, I, we're not gonna do that. We're talking mm -hmm. about. You were talking about mental health and why people are so always talking about that. And I'm mm -hmm. letting people know the motivating story of it and how you can also 
make your dreams come true. I don't think we're sitting here pinpointing whether or not what things because I can also say about the times that we didn't live on our own or I can also say about the times that my dad that you didn't work or that times that my dad didn't necessarily work or the times that my dad wasn't making enough money because who knows where his money was going you know like we could talk about that but I don't want to talk about that this isn't the family problem so you can say you don't live this, a good this, life uh, that's not what I'm saying we talked about mental health oh okay right we're talking about mental health right mm -hmm. was I homeless no only when I was a teenager and I was like living certain places making bad decisions right mm -hmm. yeah no i don't think so i don't think that was it but is that what uh, what the podcast is going to be about do you want to talk about that do you think you brought all this popcorn and everything because you want to have that convo because we can do that too and i'm pretty sure someone's going to end up mad and it's not going to be me we could do that no but well i'm well, saying because the, the, you br you brought up mental health and stuff and so i'm motivating people yeah Okay, so where do you want to talk about? Was my life perfect? No, it was not. No, it was not. No, it was not. It was not perfect, no. Pero por Am qué? I happy that, I, that you had me in the United States? Yeah, probably. I'm happy that I was able to... By the way, I said this on, um, on TikTok. If you don't make too much money, the government will literally help you with mental health shit. You can literally go and get insurance that the government helps you with, that you can fucking um, get mental health help or medication or therapy or a public defender. If you're in a situation in a relationship where there's domestic violence, you can get a public defender for divorce or for whatever. You can get your kids therapy. I'm very grateful for that. Right. I think I think that's great. I think thank God that in the United States they have those those benefits because thanks to that yes at, a, at an early age i was able to go to therapy for my parents divorce for things i may have seen for maybe growing up a little bit too fast thanks to being exposed to problems that i don't think i should have been exposed to as a little kid you know i think those things are very important right or wrong let's talk about gravy yeah It's great. If anybody out there, unless you're fucking making, I don't know, like $100,000, if you're making less money, you can really get help from the government, which is dope. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this, this conversation isn't going nowhere fun or funny or helping nobody. So I didn't think so either. I was like, what hey, are we hola. Really talking about? Here's Joyce Parra, our prima. Hey, hola, so, ¿cómo estás? No, y la mamá de Snow también. Yo estaba pillando en español y en inglés porque cuando yo hablo no es español bien chapi, pero no me entiendas a mí, so, claro. Ok, pues dale. Ah, hola, ¿cómo <laughs> estás? Yo estoy en la casa. Estamos chidos. Si estás en TikTok, hay alguien rapando en nuestros teléfonos ahora mismo. Hoy es más boring porque es un domingo y tú sabes, we were just chilling in the house, you know, caminando la perra. Leila, mi perra, mi chiquitita, la nena. Ey, ya tú sabes, la nena. La única nena que yo tengo ahí en casa. Mm -hmm. Y chacho, ya tú sabes, uh, un rapeando, un estamos chiveando. Y yo soy que, I was exercising today because, you know, I had to get that stomach on flat, flat, and the booty on wet. You already know, I've been doing it for the oh, past shit. three days. Try to get that. Be eating right, doing what I gotta do, you know, because you only have one life to live. Yo soy 31 años, no soy chamaquita de la más. Me quiero un vivo más largo, no me quiero un vivo más corto, ya tú sabes. Hey. And for those who don't understand what I just said in Spanish, oh God, she's gonna I said, say it in I'm English. Years old. <laughs> I want to live a long uh, life, I'm I want to live a short life, so I gotta do what I gotta do, ya tú sabes. Yeah. I'm gonna cut it right here, make it short, so that way, you know, other people can be on this and rap like how I do. You know, just speak from the truth, speak from the heart, and then, A, you gotta like that and keep that part. Dale, La Prima Parra. Thank you, La Prima Parra. I did not even know La Prima Parra was Puerto Rican. Yeah. Prima. This is the first time I'm, I'm realizing La Prima Parra is Puerto Rican. I thought she, I, for some reason, I thought she was Mexican. Because she'd be like, hey, chilling with the homies. So I was like, okay. I thought she was Mexican. Okay, Prima Parra, she got some sazón. Yeah. Prima Parra got some sazón. I'm feeling it. 
Ya um, tú sabes. Oh, motion sickness. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. Ido was um, trying to give us some, like, flavor for our uh, for our stream. <laughs> so you could visually he- see that rap. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there you go. Prima Parra saving. Look, Jello thought she was Mexican, too. Look. I thought, you know, George said, is this the party line number? The party line number is up there, 747-285-6216. If you want to call, ask for any advice, ask for any questions, ask for anything. Obviously, making the subjects lighter. Because as we know, just because I don't want anybody to think like it's like anything crazier than it really is. I think great things come from bad places. And I can understand sometimes where my mom can feel offended when I tell my truth and my story, how sometimes it could be like, hey, bitch, like what? You know, I can, I can understand that. Because if my son was to become a rapper and be like, and my mom used to be gone all the time, I'm going to be like, hey, man, like what the fuck? I was gone all the time because I was fucking, you know, like rapping, like to make us have a good life. So I can understand where my mom comes from. I'm not having a problem. Where I don't want is to just negate some of the shit because it's like all right bro like like it really was a real like it really is my real story like that's what it is but i can understand her having a problem with that and me being like all right bet like if you want to talk about it we can talk about it do i think this is the right time do i think the podcast is the right time do i think this live do i think that we want to sit here going tit for tat i don't think so um but you know that's something that can probably be be talked about even in a more in-depth thing i think that could be a cool piece of content if done correctly and you know mm-hmm. in depth i think that could be very amazing and i'm sure it will because when i have my selena movie one day hopefully when i'm still alive i do have an interesting story from the beginning of my rap career to before to after i'm very i think my story is special i think i am blessed and i think i was chosen for a very interesting story and I think anybody that doesn't see that, it would be wrong because it's like, bro, there's a reason my story is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, it's very specific. It's very particular. And it's very, it's a blessing. I'm glad. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I went through what I went through. I'm glad I am where I am. I'm glad I am the representation that I that I am. Um, and it comes from some dark places. Right? That's what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm glad. Yeah. That's it. Um, apenas ayer, apenas ayer estaba escuchando la historia de Oprah Wil- Wilfred, ¿o cómo? Mm-hmm. Oprah la, Wilfred. La, ajá, todo lo que pasó en su vida. Is there another chiquito bottle? Uh-huh. Todo lo que pasó en su vida. Yeah. Que fue violada, no sé por cuántas personas, mm-hmm. como cinco o seis personas de la familia. Yeah. Ajá. Y cómo es la mujer más millonaria. Mm-hmm. Sobresalió de todo eso que vivió, que fueron abusos de muchas maneras. Yeah. Yeah, it's very true. Y eso digo. What, what are vez, you saying about vez, that? ¿Sabes quién me dijo también? Jenny, ¿te acuerdas de Jenny? Mm-hmm. Dijo, mi papá era 100% alcohólico. Me, me violaban desde chica. Un montón de desgracias. Y ella seguía adelante, fuerte y animada y todo. Y decía mm-hmm. yo, ¿cómo pueden? Si uno que no pasó esas cosas, mm-hmm. yo y tú mucho menos. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, are you, what are you trying to say, though? Like that only if you were raped, like you, you have, you went through anything? No, cuando eres abusada físicamente, yeah. sexualmente, pasas todo tipo de, de desgracias en tu casa. ¿sí? Yeah. A veces uno nomás lo que es, es emocional. Mm-hmm. Es todo. Emocional, que le faltó el cariño o que le faltó el afecto, tal vez. Ya hay más nada. Yeah. No, nada más. Yeah. Drogas, no. Golpes, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give me a chupito cup, please. <laughs> um, you said I look... Thank you. I appreciate it. Have I been working out? Not necessarily. I've been playing basketball and stuff and um, with my son. And I've been um, on keto. Hey, is that porta potties? Yeah. We got porta potty chupitos. <laughs> you said take a shot. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I don't like I think we were talking about this earlier on the TikTok that is like it's never it's I don't think and I think I said it to somebody that was on live that was like, "Oh, sometimes people want to compare traumas." And it's like I don't think 
it's a comparison of traumas. I, I think it's dealing with what you were dealt with or like, yeah, like, and then you make the best out of what you can. Hola. Right. Celia. It's like how far you can take mm -hmm. what you were given. Cause we were babies. We were born little babies. We didn't know anything. We were innocent and we were given this life and then we have to navigate and then we have to overcome and then we have to build and we have to rebuild sometimes and relearn and unlearn and figure things out and eventually you end up hopefully in a better place where you can take you know your your future family your siblings your family members and take them somewhere better and i think that's it that's all you can really fucking do right but that's yeah what i was thinking about earlier uh when I was watching the football game, because there was a moment where the guy, like, it was like a guy rushing the quarterback. He Then he threw the pass, and they were both standing right next to each other. <laughs> and I don't know. It just made me think, like, it's weird that it's, like, they're both, like, people. Like, they're both human people. Like, sometimes with football, like, it seems like they're just, like, tackle this guy or run fast, you know? And, like, it's kind of like, well, they both have their own, like, personal things going on. <laughs> Yeah. But, like, I don't know. For some reason, that moment made me think about that. Like, them just standing there next to each other. <laughs> Who were they? It was just, a, like, a guy rushing the quarterback and then the quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and to them, that like, their stories are completely different. Like, these are big moments for them. Sorry, the only reason I wasn't paying attention is because this is wax. <laughs> and Mommy's just, like, smelling it and she doesn't know what this is. No, no. She's <laughs> it's, like, fucking wax. But, um, como yeah. Comida para los perros. No, do not give that to the dogs. But, yeah. I mean, that's crazy, bro. Whenever I sit up in a, like, in a high, like, um, building, like, let's say, like, a, a skyscraper type, like, tall building, and you look down and you think of every single fucking light, each one of those lights is a person sitting somewhere thinking that their life is the most important thing in the world. That's fucking wild. Like, each person has their own story, their own shit, their own drama, their own everything, and you're just like, to them... Their life is the biggest thing that matters. The circ the fucking, the universe does revolve around them, technically. And it's crazy how many lives exist all at the same time on this earth. And it's like, God damn, bro. Like, that shit's crazy. That shit's mm -hmm. fucking crazy. And even the bugs, <laughs> like, they had their <laughs> a whole life. I mean, even though I guess bugs live for a shorter amount of time, but it's kind of weird. Yeah. To think this ant was a baby. Yeah. And is now walking in front of me. And then I can kill The only it. thing nah. that makes me feel better is that I don't think ants have... The ants, like, they don't have feelings, do they? What? You don't think they do? Do you think ants have feelings? Yeah. You're lying. What do you mean? Like emotional feelings? Yeah. I'm sure they go through stuff. Shut up. Google it. Que si tienes una bonita historia entre tú y yo. Do ants have feelings? No, we want to know if ants have feelings. Do you think ants have feelings? Ants have feelings? Do ants have emotions? Ah, las hormigas? Mm -hmm. Yo creo que sí, porque cuando te las vas a arrimar, se van, dan la vuelta. Se, se asustan y se van. Yo digo que sí. I mean, according to the internet, but what do they know? Ants don't have complex <laughs> emotions such as love, anger, and empathy. I mean, yeah, I guess I didn't think that they have whole lives where they like... As much as us, where they're like, oh, I'm shy or something like, nah, but they've just been through things. I mean, they're each individually ants. They have memories, don't they? Yeah. I mean, they can follow like a path. Yeah. Like they can m remember, but I don't think they have like feelings. It's like dogs. Don't they say like dogs? Dogs don't think about that, that they're going to die one day. Oh, yeah. Right? Animals, I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. humans are the only animal that thinks that one day we're going to die. Every animal doesn't think about that. So that's cool. Like, the animals can't really be that depressed because I feel like a lot of depression comes attached to mortality. Doesn't it? Uh, no? I don't know. No? Not really. Just mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... Dogs I have feelings. No, really I didn't say dogs don't anything. have feelings. I said dogs don't think about the fact that they're going to die one day. 
I, 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 I understand. <laughs> I understand dogs have feelings. Yeah, they be looking all sad. That's Breeds why we like sad. them. Because yeah. they're like happy, angry. <laughs> I just feel like ants are hard. I feel like the insides of an ant will be hard. Uh, no, that's the outside exoskeleton. So the inside of them is soft and gushy like a human? I don't know. I mean, yeah, when you squish them. Hmm. But there was something about uh, bees. Like they had, they figured out that bees like, um, like playing with balls. <laughs> hmm. But like. Interesting. They like rolling around like a ball. Because like they, they did some little test thing and they kept on doing that. For fun, I guess. That's cool. Ants have fun. So then wait oh, a wait. minute. No, bees. I mean, bees. Bucci said, so ants don't get territorial. They don't fight. Uh, I don't know. That's wild. But yeah, I'm looking at the video for this. For that. Ordinary sight. A bee plays with a ball. Mm -hmm. It's more than just cute. Researchers say this shows, for the first time, insects interacting with inanimate objects as a form of play. And that suggests their minds are more complex than we previously thought. Are you sure? Are you sure they're not just pulling it around to see if there's any honey or anything in it? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Work cooperation. Far from being just nature. We gotta try it on our bees. Just lay, lay some wooden balls around. Or yeah, we have bees. Test from wooden balls to like plastic yeah the bees think it's nectar yeah maybe that's what's going on i don't know anyway the real reason that i was wondering that is because animals like whether or not animals have feelings or think about death or stuff like that i guess that's really what makes us human right because animals are similar they're just not they're not as complex i guess oh yeah i mean there's definitely some animals that are like us they just can't talk uh, that's, I mean, cause we are animals. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be an animal, but we are, we are animal. I wouldn't want to be an animal that can't talk. Oh yeah. That would suck. I guess they just talk through body language like dolphins. You know how they're all smart. Yeah. I don't know. That's depressive. And that gives me anxiety to think that I would ever turn into an animal that can't fucking talk. But they've, they've never been able to talk. So they don't like, they yeah, don't I know, know what you're better. saying. Huh? They don't know any better? Yeah, like they don't know, like they don't feel like, oh, I wish I could say something. Like, nah, they've never said nothing, so they don't feel like that. Like Here, here's some cards. Oh, the hot seat? The oh, hot that's, seat that's what brought it. Can somebody <laughs> that's hopefully, what brought this energy with the hot cards, seat. <laughs> no, I want that. Hopefully these cards don't ask us about my fucking upbringing. Uh, hot seat questions we're gonna answer some okay. and i saw somebody ask a question about my mom talking about me having a kid and we did talk about this on tiktok and i guess that can maybe make it um may maybe make it a lighter topic here cheers mom let's talk about a kid jacket jacket cheers how are you gonna ask that if we gotta throw a party for my day ones mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. okay wait that has, that has sugar. Oh my god. That was sweet. Wait, what? Patron? No, the orange. Oh. Or whatever the fuck that was. Okay. So you want to talk about this or you want to talk about kids? Nah, what, what is that? Mom? Let me decide because y'all don't know. <laughs> I mean, the question is what? What makes people gasp when I tell them that I don't like it? <laughs> what? Huh? What makes people gasp when I tell them that I don't like it? Gasp, ni siquiera sé qué es. Que cuando le haces así, like, <gasps> <gasps> si tú le dices a alguien que a ti no te gusta algo, y ah. alguien le hace, <gasps> ¿qué es ese algo? Ah, ¿qué sería lo que lo hago hacer eso? Mm -hmm. um. Si tú le dices a alguien, a mí no me gusta X, y uh -huh. esa persona va a hacerle, like, <gasps> ¿qué es X? Ah, ok. ¿Qué sería lo que lo haga, que, que haga eso? Uh -huh. Que le dijera yo... Mm, soy independiente y no quiero un jefe. I knew she was going to take it there. Ok. Eh, este... 
Lucy said, me telling people I don't like pozole. <laughs> <laughs> I love pozole. Okay, que no quieres un café. No, pero I feel like that's easy. Like, oh, no okay, quiero un jefe. Like, that's basic. Um, mm, <laughs> what about you? Is there something that you tell people that you don't like and they go... Oh, <gasps> uh, probably lime on tacos. I mean, people like you who love lime on tacos. Yeah. I think everybody likes lime on tacos except for Ido. What about you? A él no le gusta limón en los tacos. Mom, are you going to answer or just chew the whole time in the microphone? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, yo, eh, que no me gusta el, el ceviche. Mm. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I don't like... I don't like... Mm, pushy girls. Que si quiere sé qué quiere decir eso. No me gusta cuando las muchachas son muy pushy, en sí, like yeah, no me gusta cuando ofrecidas. las muchachas son ofrecidas, yeah, okay. no me gusta. Okay. What else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahora tú haz una pregunta de tu tu questions. Oh. Así, ¿verdad? Mhm. Mm How do you want? Okay. Cinnamon apple turkey. <laughs> Cinnamon What apple put me in a good mood immediately? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, Ma. ¿Qué me pone uh, en un buen modo inmediatamente? Uh, a ver, tú di. <laughs> <laughs> What puts me I in a good mood immediately? Um, okay. Oh, for mommy? Yeah. yeah. We know for me, um, I like... Mm, I like food. You like money. I like money, yes. Money, money, money. She's a Mr. Crash. For sure. You know, say, you know, you don't know. As soon as he heard that, he yeah. knew what mommy likes. Whoa. What happened to my camera? Whoa, you're frozen. Hey. You look um, like a fucking quien, real estate agent. A quien no le gusta el dinero de los que están viendo. Alguien que me diga que no le gusta el dinero. I like food. Mommy likes money, 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 money. Yeah. Porque el, man, el comida engorda y el money no engorda. Wait, but, uh, but do you like money if you earn it or do you like free money? No, las dos cosas. Mm. Money porque trabajo y money porque me lo gano. Ooh, Ashcatch said, Ash, Ash Ketchum said, um, oh no, not, not that one. Sorry, Roberto Vargas said long tight hugs. I like hugs. That's the one thing that I will say that kind of fucked me up um, immediately when I was single. Like uh, coming after a, like a five year breakup was that I'm very, like, huggy, and so I was used to an emotional support of, like, a hug, and, like, I didn't have that. So that was kind of fucking me up because it felt it felt like my insides had been scooped out. Like, that's what I felt like. So um, so I realized that, like, I was going to have to be able to hug people and be like, I need a hug, please. And so when I started realizing that, like, you know, obviously, like, with a friend or my son or, like, Brinks, Edo, Brinks. Brinks or even Ido though, because Ido gives good hugs, and I was like, like crying, and Ido's like, "Do you need a hug?" And I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> and then Ido hugs me, like it feels really, really good. Like Ido gives a good hug, you know. Like I, obviously, I can hug my mom, um, my my son, um, all that. But yeah, it's definitely a a good thing. Hugs mm -hmm. hugs will make you immediately feel better. For sure. qué más? Oh, también que el doctor me diga que tengo toda la salud. Me pone feliz. Yeah. Que me cheque cosas y diga el doctor, estás bien. What is my kryptonite? Um, what is my kryptonite? Oh, Weedle, what, what makes you immediately happy? Football. Football makes you immediately happy? Que ganen los Raiders. Well, yeah. But watching football. Nice. I mean, I guess not any football. Some football sucks. But... <laughs> NFL football. Yeah. Oh, and Ash Catch, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shade you. You asked if my mom was a Taurus. Yes, she's a Taurus. Sí, um, y también otro preguntó que si voy a estar en el show de Los Ángeles. Si Dios quiere, sí. Yeah. Um, what is my kryptonite? To me, my kryptonite is... Um, to what, though? What? That I give up? Like, what, what, what would be kryptonite? 
like I have, like, like I'm nice. Wait, somebody help me with that question. Like, what is my kryptonite? Like what? Kryptonite. Because I would say carbs, but not really, because if I'm on keto, that means I can survive without carbs. Yeah, you don't know what kryptonite is? Yeah, but it's like, for what? Like, okay, kryptonite, like, with a significant other, like, with bitches I see, like, what's my kryptonite? Like, oh my god, I love that. Or is it, like, just in general? Like, what will make me... You know what I mean? Like, what What um, does that mean? You probably shouldn't, though. That's not a good question. Tell That's not a good question? All right. Tell cool. everybody. Okay, hey, yeah, here's my weakness. I know, but what's my weakness? I don't, I don't know. My brother doesn't think I should tell you all my weakness, so ha. Nah. Okay, go. Okay. What question will I never say yes? Two. Two. Okay, go ahead, Mom. <laughs> I know yours, Mom. <laughs> Somebody asking you for money. <laughs> 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 Every question is just about money. <laughs> Mind you, if I said those same answers, my mom would be my mom would be passive aggressively dissing me right now. But Ido can say it, and she's just laughing. Okay, let's just write that down Ay, in our ternurita. mental. Ternurita, ternurita. See, what that means so. just so y'all know, just just in case y'all think that my mom was trying to say I'm tripping, I'm glad Ido's the one saying it, not me. Si me preguntan por, como le dije una vez a una, a una persona, no dinero, no sexo y no raite. Que luego quieren usarme de, de Uber o taxi, no. No. Ni <laughs> tampoco para que vivan en mi casa. Ok. I'm going to sit. Yo también. <laughs> um, me... What will I never say yes to? I will never say yes to. Mm. A casarte. I would get married. Yeah. <laughs> She's already said yes before. I would get. I I think I would get married. Okay. Good luck. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Buena suerte. You don't want me to get married? No, pa qué? I mean, I'm just saying I would get married. I'm not saying I'm gonna. No, en urgencia, pues, pero podría ser posible. I'm saying it's a possibility. It's a possibility. Do, do, I, do I want to? No. Not for the moment. <laughs> okay, mom, answer as me. Do I want to get married? No. Not for the moment. Mm -hmm. Do I want to be in a relationship right now? Yes, maybe later. <laughs> in the future. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to keep answering these? Mm -hmm. Do I want a child? Yes. ASAP. What? <laughs> Así se dice, no? ASAP. ASAP. Oh, okay. ASAP. <laughs> okay. ASAP. Do I want a boyfriend? No, no, no boyfriend. <laughs> Do I want a girlfriend? No, no but girlfriend. Friends. <laughs> oh, shoot. Friends with... Friends... Con... ¿Cómo se dice? Amigas con derecho, pero ¿cómo se dice en inglés? Benefits. Oh, se me había olvidado. Oh my gosh, ya no me voy para México. Friends with benefits. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? ¿Tú quieres que yo sea un bachelor? You want mm. me to be a bachelor? No. What do you want me to, like, what do you, what do you, what would be your perfect situation for me and my brother right now? Like, what would we, do you want Iro to get married? Do you want Iro to have a baby? Do you want Iro to just have friends? Like, what do you want? Miguelito, he can get married when he turns 35. Okay. And what do you want from me? You can get married when you get 40. <laughs> do you want me to have kids or you don't have kids? Who do you want a grandkid from first? Uh, you. Nice. Mm -hmm. Do you, would you be okay with me having a kid with a friend, not with a, not with a significant other? Yeah, with a friend. Okay. Would you be okay with Ido having a kid with a friend? No, Miguelito, no. Why? What do you, What's the difference? He needs to get married. So Ido has to get married to have a kid, but I ha I can have a friend with a kid if I want. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a kid. I can have a kid with a friend. Um, yeah, because you you're older than him. Okay, but it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm lesbian. No. You don't care. Mm -mm. Ido's a lesbian too. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm just kidding. Oh. A surrogate. Okay. Ready? Mm-hmm. What is something that I wish 
I, I enjoy. ¿Cómo? What ah. is something that I wish I enjoy? ¿Qué es algo que, que te gustaría que te gustara? Algo que no te gusta, pero te gustaría que te gustara. A ver. Ah, me gustaría que me gustara. Ay, Dios mío. A ver, tú contesta primero. Something I wish I enjoyed. What is something that I wish I enjoy? I wish I enjoyed. Mm. Casual sex. Is it so? I wish I wish I enjoyed. Like I don't I don't like casual sex. Like I don't like sleeping with people too early. Pero me gustaría because then I wouldn't be so. Like, a mí me gusta, like, casi, like, querer a la persona. So, it's like, no me gusta eso porque entonces ya me involucré mis feelings. And I don't mm -hmm. want to involve feelings. I want, I want to just be able to be like everybody else. Práctica. Right donde, práctica. Yeah. Uh -huh. ¿Tú eres práctica? No, you know. Yeah, right, ma. Mom, mm -mm. just tell the truth. No. A lo mejor un tiempo corto fui. A lo mejor. ¿Un tiempo corto de qué? Sí. Poquito tiempo, pues, pero ahora no. Ya tiene mucho que no. Pero en tus, di en tus días, tú eras... Tú, eh, eh, a ti te gustaba el par. Era, era un error, pues. Era un error, pero no. cometiste muchos errores. No. No, porque siempre terminaba en una relación. Siempre era una relación. Con José Luis, con Moisés. Con ok, Rubén. Well, just name drop. Con uh -huh. José Luis, con Moisés, con Rubén, con... Mm. Eran novios, fueron mis este novios. Wey, de, de... Con Moisés, con fucking. ¿Cómo se llama ese wey, otro güey? Con Eddie, con. All them. Dos, sí. Eran relaciones estables. Mauricio. ¿verdad? Mauricio, con Scott, con. Oh my God. Con. ¿Quién más? Eran re relaciones estables, mamá. ¿Eran relaciones estables? Dime cuál no fue estable. Dime tú, tú. They were unhinged. Dime. Um, José Luis sin, sin censura dijeron <risa> oh, José um, Luis fue bien importante the crunching y fue la, la primera la... persona que yo tuve de novio cuando me divorcié uh -huh. ¿quién José Luis? sí no entonces, ¿Sí? ¿Sí? entonces ¿quién, ¿quién era Scott? ¿ese no fue el primero? ah se me dice que en el mismo tiempo <risa> conocí ¿Qué? O sea, en el mismo tiempo que estaba conociendo a José Luis, conocí a Scott. Y ya después dejé a José Luis. O dejé a Scott por José Luis. Tú ah. andabas con Scott primero. Ajá. Y luego ya fuiste con José Luis. Ah, exacto. Efectivo. Efectivamente. Some of these conversations, I think I'm willing to have them, like I said. I'm willing to have some of these talks because in a vlog form where, we, where it's like we can make it end happy, <laughs> we can end it. We, it can all be the same conversation, just a little more positive. Whereas sometimes when it's very raw, like things can happen where it can just not go right. And I don't want that. Like at the end of the day, I love my mom. I love my brother. I love my family. I'm happy with where my life is. So I don't ever want to expose things to be taken in a negative context, which is the same thing that I did for years, for the past few years of the podcast and the past few years of the vlog is... I have been able to control the way that things are put out into the world because I never want to expose certain things to the dangers that is people's opinion of the raw situation. It's a lot better to give it to you digestible and give it to you in ed like digestible bites than to be like, raw, here's the whole shit. Because we've, some of y'all have seen how that ends up when it's very raw. You, you get some facts that maybe you're like, hmm, Would have rather not known that doesn't keep it very happy go lucky looking a little dark out here, sis. You know? So sometimes it's important to just So I don't want I don't want to do that. But yeah, I think with Jose Luis and all them people, I think every every relationship you go through is a lesson. Do you think you've learned lessons throughout your relationships that you feel better about yourself yeah. now? I I learn a lot of lesson and I learn not to trust no, no guys. That's what my mom learned. 
do I, I still make music? Yes. I just literally in, what was it, November? Was it November or October that I dropped my project? Um, October. Nicole, I do. I just dropped a 15-song project, and then since then, I have dropped like six other songs. So I've probably dropped 20-something songs, including the song in Wakanda, the song on the NFL uh, mixtape that was on Monday Night Football, you know, a bunch of fucking records with different people. I did all that. So I'm sorry you didn't see them because that's why you have to ask if I still make music. But yes. However, I love podcasting. This is like, this is my favorite. But I will always make music because I'm good at it. But yeah. Um, me too. I think relationships have taught me a lot of things about myself. As you guys know, I mean, I was married. I think marriage will teach you a lot about yourself. That's something I've never talked about, I guess. Unless you've been married. Ma, did you go through this feeling? When you got married and you said yes, you remember? Mm -hmm. Did you feel different after? Like, te senti, dilo, dilo honesto, because I, I did. I feel like there was this, like, and then all of a sudden you say yes, and now you're like, what? Si o no? Tell the truth, ma. Look at her face. <laughs> Se siente diferente o no? Like, el momento que lo dices, si o no, tu ansiedad como que te... Te crece. Te crece. Like, now you're like, wait, did I fuck up? Did I make the right decision? Did I make the wrong decision? Yes or no? Sí, te crece poquito la, la ansiedad. Y la responsabilidad. Immediately. Like, that's yeah. something that I was scared of. If I'm going to be completely honest. Yo siento gonna... que desde que me casé me dio ansiedad. I feel like when I got married, that happened to me. And so when I got engaged again, the moment I was engaged again, I was scared that this time, this is something I've never admitted. I was scared that this time, that feeling wouldn't happen to me and it would happen to them. That was scary because I was like, like, I guess I always kind of had that guilt on me, which, you know, I, I tend to guilt myself, but I always had that guilt on me, which was, I remember the moment I got married, it was anxiety. It was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh my God, like, what did I do? Blah, 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 all that shit. So then the next time I got engaged, I was like, what if she has that? Like, what if we get married and then, like, she just always, like, questions it or, like, you know, immediately, like, looks at me like, what the fuck? You know, all that mm -hmm. shit. So, um, it was, it was definitely, you said marriage isn't for everybody? Possibly. Because, I don't know, it was just, it's just a lot of anxiety. And I think sometimes it's our own mental health. Like, I don't even think it's, it's them or it's the relationship or it's anything. Because you still are the same person. You're still the same people that you were when you got engaged. But I don't know for what reason, when you get married, that little moment, the moment you say I do, that shit says, and you're like, you feel like you're in a vacuum. Did you feel like you was in a vacuum? Damn. Cheers, mom. Cheers. Would you get married again, mom? No. Yo no soporto tomar tequila. Mommy's gonna throw up. No me den más tequila. ¿Qué onda lo que es exagerado, de malo? I don't know, dude. You are enough. Thank you. Selena Hernandez that said you are enough, that is so nice. Oh, my God. That's such a nice statement. Like the video, guys. Oh, yeah, like the video, guys. Te voy a hacer otra pregunta. It's like tattooing their name, Big Taboo. I won't lie, I don't have any exes tattooed on me, but I do have, like, things that look, you know what I mean? Like, like I obviously have a tattoo right here that, like, is literally, like, one of my exes. And then I have tattoos that signify things. That's the reason why I wouldn't cover them, because it's like, they signify things that were very important to me. Would you ever get a tattoo? No. No. A, a veces he pensado uno, pero no. Where? Mm. Wait, what? 
en what the hell was that? En una pierna, yo creo. <laughs> I said, would you ever get a tattoo? She por said, aquí mm. en el pecho. En el pecho, por aquí. Por aquí. Get this tattoo. Get this loyalty to loyalty tattoo right here. Ajá, en un hombro, sí, aquí. You see? Eso está bonito. Mm -hmm. Get a loyalty to loyalty. Mm -hmm. um, una rosa. Is it the commitment that becomes real after you... I don't think so because I don't think... I don't feel like I've been afraid... I've, I'll tell you the truth. I don't think I've ever been scared of commitment. ¿Sí o no? no. Commitment. You know commitment? Sí, cometido. Uh -huh. Yo nunca he tenido miedo a cometerme, right? No. Like, I don't think I've ever been scared of commitment. Like, not until now. I'll be real with you. Literally, not until right now, which is what I'm going to therapy for, is when I realize that I think I'm now scared of commitment. But I've never been scared of commitment my whole life. I got married at 19. The relationships before that, I was dead ass. I was in relationships for two years, three years, this, that, whatever. Like, you know, I'm, I would meet somebody and I could be in a fucking four-year relationship right after that. Meet somebody, five-year relationship right after that. Like, I've been fine with commitment, always. Till right now. Ooh. Now I'm, now I'm scared. And so now I'm like, hmm, let me figure that out before I fucking go out here and fuck some, somebody else up. Because I don't, I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that I'm at zero. <laughs> Rice said you're scared of it now. You feel me? It takes, it takes some real shit of you not ever thinking something's going to happen and then that happens and you go, wait a minute. I ain't doing that shit again. That shit hurt. Have you... Do you remember who's the person that's hurt the most? Even though you're dating someone else now, do you still remember a certain heartbreak? Like, hay algún heartbreak que tú te acuerdas que tú dices, hey, yo después de ese, cambié. Cambié para... Para siempre, lo para lo que sea. Oh. Hey, I got a train. Sí. ¿Quién? No tienes que decir el nombre, pero, like... ¿Algún esta, algún, es, ¿Alguna característica? Two people have said that's growth. Is that really growth? Wait, growth is me trying to go to therapy and I'm trying to start from zero, or growth is me having commitment issues? <laughs> Which one? ¿Pero quién? Or, like, ¿qué te cambió? O sea, ¿qué fue lo que, que te hizo a ti sentir como que ya? Eso ya, like, fue demasiado. O tú... Uh -huh. Tú puedes admitir que tú fuiste la del error. Ajá, sí. I mean, say the truth. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of young girls here that can use advice from you. So tú, you admit to yourself that you made the mistake, so that changed you? Yeah. What do you, what? Tell us a little bit about it. About with the uh, Ruben. Fucking Ruben. <clears throat> Yo, R.I.P. to fucking Ruben, bro. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker was close to being my dad, man. Mm -hmm. Shouts out, Ruben. We have a mango tree out here named Ruben. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, we have a mango tree named Ruben in Ruben's name, yo. So yeah. what would you say about Ruben? What happened? I think I don't try. I don't I don't do the right things. Or I don't try enough. <coughs> For him? Mm -hmm. Why? Because I was maybe more immature and jealous and always fighting. Mm -hmm. That's sad. Does mm -hmm. that make you sad? Mm -hmm. Do you think what makes you more sad... I don't, I don't want to go too dark. Um... But if I could be honest, like there's been times in my relationships or, you know, in my, in my, in my most current relationship where, cause we did go through breakups as much as we didn't, we would always say that we, <laughs> we didn't break up. Que era toxica. There. Yeah. Sí, sí. There were times when we did break up, like literal break up, like move back to your place, move back to where you're from, like break up. And those weren't public, but it did happen. And I remember in one of those my mom came through because I was so sad and she goes, don't worry, you'll be over it one day. And I was like, are you sure? And she was like, yeah, that's how I was with Ruben. And I was like, well, did you ever get over him? And she was like, no. 
<laughs> and I was like, this doesn't fucking help me. And one of my other family members did the same thing. They're like, oh, you'll get over it. Like, blah, blah, blah. You know, this person. And they were like, no, I never got over that girl. Like, I just, I just learned to live with it. And then my mom did the same thing. She was like, I just learned to live with it. And then she's like, and then he died. And I was like, that is the saddest fucking thing I can ever think of in my life is that you never get over somebody and then they die. And that's, do you think that's what's hard? Oh, fuck. Ma. Okay, we got to change the subject yeah. because that is. Well, this ain't really changing the subject, but mom, have you ever sad. ate a Reuben sandwich? <laughs> that's oh. a Reuben sandwich. ¿Te acuerdas cuando nos llevó a Tijuana? The sauerkraut. Yeah. <laughs> Ruben, the mango tree is out there. He's he's living. But yeah, that is fucking sad, bro. Um, <laughs> They're saying more hot seat. Yeah, more hot seat. All right, we are five people away from hitting a thousand on the fucking chat and YouTube. So some of y'all from TikTok, make it over to fucking um, YouTube so we can hit a thousand. So we can take a shot and do more hot seat. Because yeah, that's sad. So then recently I had this convo with my mom and I was like, ma, about my current breakup. And I was like, ma, you know, like, this is fucking hard. Like, it, it's difficult because she's made some decisions that have now affected everything. And she was like, so did I. And she told me it was very similar. But turns out my mom, turns out I'm Ruben. Right. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how do you feel? And she's like, well, like, he's gone. She was like. You were like, and now look at me, I'm happy. And I'm like, are you? And my mom's like, mm. <laughs> Ma, it's kind of like, it's kind of hard to, you know what I mean? Like, I get it. Like, I do wish you would have ended up with Ruben. I don't, I don't want to be Ruben, man. R.I.P. Ruben. He died in a, in a jet ski accident. And I think that was the closest to a dad I ever got after my dad. Like, he would check my car. He was always like checking on us. He was always, you always knew you could at least rely on Ruben. Mm -hmm. And it's I, like, yeah, I would sit on his back and he would do push ups. Pero estabas chiquito. He was but sitting no. on his back and doing push ups. <laughs> yeah, maybe he could still, he would still be able to do them. Ah, probably not. Strong that's, man. that's fucked up, yo. Guys, if you know me <laughs> and Ido, you might as well just know Ruben. Because I think that's like our big story. Like Ruben was, he was just, I don't know. He was a big deal. Even though I fucking hated him sometimes. I fucking was like, bro, Ruben, I fucking hate you. He was like, oh, well. Claudia, he didn't a todos. give a fuck. Odiabas give a shot. También. Odiabas a también te oh, caía shoot. gordo. El okay. hijo también. El tilan te caía gordo. Mom, you know Scott is a different story. Yeah? Let's leave it light and happy with Ruben. Let's not talk about Scott. Okay. Shit. All the day we talk about Scott. That's 1K. Scott is one of them. Yeah, we're going to do a 1K. We got a thousand people in the motherfucking chat. We in this bitch. Hey. Oh, my God. R.I.P. Ruben. We're going to take an R.I.P. Ruben shot. For you, Ruben. This for Ruben, Mom. This is for... um. No, pues es que... Na, 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 na. Right, because he used to talk like he's from Tijuana. They say Ben Affleck... Pull up Ben Affleck speaking Spanish. They say he talks like he's from Tijuana. And when I hear it, Ben Affleck really talks like Ruben. Really? Pull up Ben Affleck. Oh, my God. Porque la gente de Tijuana, Ruben, hablaba como que estaba pujando, right? He's like, no, what do you say? What would he call you? Chonchis. chonchis. No, chonchis. <laughs> es que yo voy a tener que tener chonchis. No, chonchis. <laughs> So I, Ben Affleck, when he talks, yeah, he talks. Yeah. Look, look, look. Put sí, como ese. If you want to know, if you're on TikTok and you want to know what my mom's ex look like, Ruben, mm -hmm. he's that guy right there. Except for he had a mustache. Mm -hmm. He had a big old fat mustache, but he looked just like that guy, but with a mustache. Mm -hmm. And my mom loved that man. Mm -hmm. And Ruben had a crazy story, too, because if you think about it, how many years was he in prison? Was it all? He was in prison for four years, and then he got out, and then he met my mom, and then he was mad Christian and was no longer in any crime, and then they broke up, and she broke his heart, and then he moved on, and then he died. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure more happened between those points. But, but that's wild. I mean, yeah, he yeah. met another girl, he became happy, he had a child, and then he died. Mm -hmm. uh, did he still have the mustache? Dang. 
Yeah. Forever mustache. Sí, no me gustaba ese man, este mustache. Ya. Yeah. Era como de los tucanes. Dice que le decían que se parecía al que cantaba en los tucanes. Ya. Yeah. Mario Quintero. But that's sad, man. If you think about it, like, that's so fucking sad of, like, everybody, like, thinks about, you know, a love story or, like, a movie. Like, shit isn't a fucking movie, dude. Like, sometimes dead ass, like, you know, my mom and his love story ended and he moved on and he met another girl and he had a baby and he thought, you know, fuck it, I'm living no, my no, best life. No, no, mamá del niño. Oh, ya. he's not with her no more? No. Oh. Estaba oh, yeah, you otra. said he would always hit you up and talk about whether or not you let him hit i was like that is something i didn't need to know about things are more like a movie that you hate that doesn't have like a that ending. doesn't have a good ending oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah like if you watched his li his life story and then he just dies you'll be like Oops. what the fuck ruben oye, Claudia, me like, this movie oye. sucks oye Claudia, cambiando de tema tú cómo miras ese 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 meme que dicen que ese meme se llama un meme que a que a shakira la, la engañaron hablando seis idiomas Ahora a ti, ¿qué, ¿qué dices con ti menos? <risa> que, que a Shakira la, la engañaron, que habla seis idiomas. Mm -hmm. Ahora a ti, ¿qué dices con ti menos? <risa> con ti menos a ti. But you want to say, you want to know something true about cheating? Mm -hmm. Sí. I feel like people who cheat, cheat because they don't think they'll ever be good enough for the person, so they rather ruin it. Oh. Yes or no? Tell me because you've cheated. And I'm not putting you on blast, but I'm just saying, sí o no? Ay, yo engañado porque los hombres son bien infieles, nomás por eso. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. People who cheat, you think they're going to cheat, so you rather cheat on them mm -hmm. because you don't want them to cheat. Right? Mm -hmm. So that means your brain is telling you, I'm not going to be the person this person is loyal to, so let me go cheat. Right? Some call it pee. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's the thing. There's a lot of self-sabotage. Like, I've had a conversation with people from my past that when they go, the reason I did this is because I was never going to be X, Y, and Z for you, so I'd rather do this because I feel more comfortable with a bum. Ya tengo tiempo que yo no hago eso. It Por just ejemplo. be like that. To the person who mm. said not right, what you mean? I mean, unless you're dead ass cheating, you wouldn't know. And unless you got cheated on, you also wouldn't know. So, what do you mean? That's how it be. But I don't cheat anymore. You're gonna, I yeah. I stop. I stop. Because I think we should normalize having those conversations. Like, that's why today I was having that talk about polyamory or like open relationships or like situationships or like not being in a relationship because it's like bro at the end of the day i rather be in a situation where it's like bro if you want to go do your own thing that's cool if i'm gonna do my own thing that's cool like mm -hmm. let's have a conversation but i am never getting in a relationship ever again until we are one thousand percent on the same page Because if we're not, then all that's going to happen is it's going to be toxic. It's going to be fucked up. We're going to keep on pressing each other, doing all kinds of shit. And it's like, dude, I hold a high standard because if you found out that your boyfriend, that you're trying to talk to a guy, and he slept with 200 women, and you only slept with five people, are you going to feel, like, self-conscious? Are you going to be like, that's a lot? Like, I don't know what... Like, you feel like you have to sleep with 200 people too, right? To, to match it? Or no? You're like, no, I don't want to deal with you No, pienso que esa persona no es para mí. Yeah, true. Con esos 200 que no quiero nada de cerca de mí. I don't want this guy close to me. <laughs> exactly. So it's like you have to have that, you have to have that communication. Mm -hmm. it's, it's important. It's important to, to talk about all these type of things. And if you're going to have any problems throughout the relationship because of any lies or any type of shit that you don't coincide in, then you better not be in a relationship because then you're just going to fucking argue and talk to talk shit to each other all the time. So that should be wild. My mom's pretty. Yes, she is. Say hi to them, mom. Hi. Hold saying Karina. Karina Nunez. Oh, just be single then. Yeah. Better. Communication is law, absolutely. ¿Qué onda, suegra? Ezequiel Martínez. 
Woke Garby said, I never cheated and I never got cheated on. Facts. Me too. Really? Me too. Why are you looking at me like that? You, don't, you never cheat? Who the hell did I cheat on? Oh, no, I don't know. You think I cheated? I don't live 24 hours with you, seven days a week, so I don't know. I didn't cheat. I've had open communication with people. Yeah. All the time. It's how they call. Honestly. I was in a difficult situation. Mm -hmm. But it must have not been that difficult because the person still don't have no animosity towards me. We... We cool. Um... How about this? Mom, watch. Yes. Watch, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> you don't turn the volume down. God damn. <laughs> Sorry. ¿Qué es eso? Jabón? <laughs> what the fuck is that for? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I want to go do that. <laughs> what <Ew. laughs> What's he spraying himself for? I like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do that shit a few times a week, bro. Eso es bien sano para tu salud. Yeah. Física, emocional, mental y todo. It says, bro, watch this history. <laughs> <laughs> I want to uh -huh. do that, bro. What? <laughs> they said they gave you him said, a factory reset. To the people on TikTok, if you want to see, you can literally watch it on YouTube, bro. We're live on YouTube right now. Mm -hmm. Go to the YouTube. YouTube.com slash Everyday Days, bro. That was nice, though. Hola, Jasmine. You know what I love? A calf massage. Oh, see. Sí. You need it. I love calf massage. I yeah. went to the strip club and the girl was like, what can I do for you? I was like, a calf massage? I don't want to see you twerk your ass. Massage my calves right now, and they did. Oh, see, I was in the middle of a strip club called Eleven in Miami. <laughs> no, yeah, I was just there, and she was massaging my calves, and I was feeling very relaxed. Cause she didn't look like like I don't want to see her strip. ¿Te acuerdas cuando la manita? I me... have a very particular stripper type, and if you're not that, then you can give me a calf massage. O que te dé masaje aquí. Uh huh. Aquí. No, then I'm falling asleep. Oh. I'll go to sleep. La manita también daba masaje. ¿Ves? Oh, we lived alone. ¿Y la manita qué? La manita making her pies at our house. <laughs> Encima de mí de Rubén, ¿te acuerdas? Sí, miss, we lived alone all the time. Manita was literally making cheesecakes out of my mom's fucking oven. She was paying rent, but she was ha starting a cheesecake business out of my mom's oven. No, y, no, y agarraba la, your la, eggs, eggs y la leche. And your milk. <laughs> Pero sí, era más necesitada claro. de ella. Era una emergencia nomás. Mm -hmm. Era una emergencia. Y la guapen, que she would also make all her fucking, all the fish in the room. <laughs> she would make, it would smell like one fish pen. all over the fucking house. La guapen y tú peleando con la guapen. Because it would stink so bad all over the place. And it was like she was cooking fish in my, like what used to be my room. And it stunk. Nomás duraba un poquito. But I'm just saying, see how I stay quiet during stories that, like, I know the truth, but I just be quiet, and I'll be like, Pero oh, and later on, it'll come up. Yo, later on, it'll pop up, because it'll be just in regular conversation, because if there's one thing I learned, la, la it's, if it's one thing that I've learned in life, is that things have a way of coming back around, and that'll be your Todo moment. Todo se acomoda. Todo se fucking moda. Acomoda. Todo se acomoda. Bro, I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna put that in a hoodie. Todo... Se moda. moda. Mm -hmm. Bro, 
straight up. Tarde That's o temprano, one thing you gotta de, figure out about así, life. Todo, tarde o temprano, todo se acomoda. People be stressed out. People be trying to fight, argue, all that shit. Mm -hmm. Pero sabes que a la hora de la hora, cuando tiene que salir, la verdad va a salir exactamente cuando la verdad tiene que salir. Te vas a quedar tú así, ¿no? ¿Cómo te quedó el ojo? ¿Qué fue? Como el otro día cuando dijiste. Fishy cheesecake. Ya combinaron. <risa> Ya combinaron el fishy cheesecake. Fishy cheesecake, primero, yeah, exactly. Mami, no. Primero el cheesecake y luego de ahí salió el fish. ¿Sí, no está como? Ay, ay, ay. That's el I'm stinky. Saying. Stinky. Ay, But she's happy to talk about the fishy stinky cheesecake. Eso no se me va a olvidar. El, 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 ¿Cómo? El fishy cheesecake. Yeah. Sí, no Huevos. Sé. Que la manita te agarraba los huevos del refri. Ah, bueno. Ay. Oh, bueno. Ay. Ay. Ah, my God. Oh, ¿Qué, me? ¿Qué no. dice Irene? Vamos a leer qué dice Irene Fernández from El Paso, Texas. What happened, baby? ¿Cómo está en El Paso? ¿Mucho frío? Mucho, yo, mucho. Oh, you're, you're, you're watching this or what? <laughs> Yeah, it was just some, it was just some dude. You, you, <laughs> some you, dude getting a fucking <laughs> his history. You reset. haven't seen it on, uh, on on TikTok. The dude should be watching like everything. He was gonna. I mean, baby Drew's gonna ask for that type of fucking um, haircut. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's, it's... Ti, ¿qué dice Oscar? El tímido Oscar. Does anyone want to meet? Can I have some water? Baby, bring some ice water, please. A big cup of... Like a hockey puck. No, I'm just Bring a big cup of ice water, please, baby. Apple, cinnamon, turkey, fishy, cheesecake. Oh, my gosh. You guys, que si te gustan las muchachas gorditas o las flaquitas, dice. La parra. I like... I like... I'm not gonna lie. I like a thicker set woman. Medium. Medium. That's like... If I could talk about like what... If, if I was to ever settle down again in my life, I prefer... For the <laughs> she can't even let me just say my shit. <laughs> For like, like 200 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, 150 pounds. 150. But you can't just let me like talk about yeah. my likes. Don't say 100, don't say 200. Say 150. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see? Uh, yeah. See what my mom's doing? So you tell them, mom, what do I like? Uh, not too not too big, not too small. Like medium. Mm -hmm. And what else? Like medium. Not too thick, not too thin, and not too ugly. <laughs> <laughs> not too no not too much beautiful. Not no. too much beautiful? Not much too too no not too much beautiful. That's my type? Not too much beautiful? How do beautiful, you know? Beautiful, but not too much beautiful. Why? What is making you think that I don't like people too much beautiful? But es lo que he visto. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Es lo que he visto. Fired. Shots fired, mom. <laughs> mom. <laughs> <laughs> Ma. Oh. Mm. What, you thought it was a real, it was a real duck around here. Pues es que era broma. You have mental problem. You have some. You need attention. <laughs> you need something. That's why you do that. Do you remember when we, when we record that? Mm -hmm. In Texas. Oh shit. I don't think it was in Texas. No, no. That was in California. Yeah, Ma. but one. Oh. Ma, la gente se está riendo. So you think that I don't date beautiful women? Um, regular. Mom. <laughs> regular. Oops. Oh my gosh, baby Drew brought me the biggest, the biggest cup, cup he can world. find. Thank you very much for my cup of water. That's gonna help me with this next conversation. So, mom, what the hell is your shots fired? Yeah, not 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 the most beautiful, I guess. What are you saying, mom? Y'all are fucked up. Hey, I didn't say that. No, I said right. that. I don't. Know. But look at this, mom. Que les diga más, dice. 
Yeah, let's move on. There's a donkey. Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> Ay, little burrito hermoso. Así le digo a mi novio. A mi novio le digo, a mi, oh le digo así. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. If you're on TikTok and you're not watching the podcast, go to the podcast. It's on youtube.com slash everyday days. Ito's about to play the clip again. That is so sad. Pobrecito. Espérate porque lo voy a grabar. Ese burrillo. Oh my god, no. Pobrecito. Espérate, Miguelito. Espérate, ponlo, ponlo. It's going. It's re. It's replaying. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Poor as he no. He's a little baby. <laughs> she recorded it, really. <laughs> she recorded it like she can't just screen record this shit later from YouTube. No, I could just send it to you. Ahí salgo yo y tú. Oh, okay. Record the screen. Como le digo yo a este que es un burrito que es como un burrillo de esos despeluchados de esos igualito que ese que anda ahí. Who, your boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Siempre le digo así. Ay, mi burrito despeluchado. ¿Haces cariños? ¿Haces cariños now? Wow, you really have evolved. I never heard you say no cariños. Sí. But only to sí, your burrito, burrito despeluchado. despeluchado. Sí, dice ahí. No. My mom does burrito no despeluchado que, no que te cariños. Mira. Mira. No, hay... No, burrito ¡Qué hermoso peluchón. bebé! Oh my gosh, my mom has never been that type of person, but to her ugly ass boyfriend, hermoso bebé, burrito despeluchado bebé, wow, wow, that's wild, that's wild, that's wild, Very my mom ain't never been a loving person in her freaking life. El burro soy yo por intentarlo, evadir mi responsabilidad, ¿qué es eso? That's how you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Some ladies only show love to their bums. Miguelito, que si hablas español, preguntan. Sí. Ah, si habla español. Some girls hate pretty women. They want to be with a male bum. That's the only person that they'll show love to. They'll hate on women, but they'll love <laughs> these bums. Burrito despeluchado. Así como un burrito desnutrido que no comió mi bien y está así como... Mi burrito sabanero voy camino de Belén. Sí, Belén, sí, Belén. Voy camino de Belén. A la Belén, a la Belén. Estoy ruining all the fucking notes, yo. What the fuck? La Belén, la Belén. La Belén, la Belén. Voy camino a Nueva York. ¡Ja, <laughs> sí, <laughs> en el no, en el carro York, en el carro negro va camino a Nueva York. En va camino a Nueva York. En el Honda en el Honda va camino a Nueva York. Se lleva sus tacones y sus camisas. <laughs> Get off the podcast. <laughs> my mom is my mom's out of here. Okay. Me hizo daño el, 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 fíjate, nada más es una cerveza. Y Look, es... this is going to be shady. What do I do differently than everyone else in the room? Go ahead, mom. ¿Qué dice? ¿Qué hago yo diferente de todas las personas en este cuarto? ¿Qué haces tú diferente? Que todas las personas en este cuarto. Um, ¿Qué haces diferente? ¿Qué haces diferente? ¿Qué haces diferente? Ah, que rapeas. Tú, que tú, ¿qué haces diferente que todas las personas en este? Ah, yo. ¿Qué hago? ¿Qué hago? Este. Eh, ¿Qué hago diferente? ¿Qué es algo que has aprendido de alguien en, esta, en este cuarto? ¿Qué he aprendido en este cuarto de alguien? Alguien dijo, pura pedrada con usted. Ah, sí, eso lo aprendí con Claudia. No es cierto, la pedradora eres tú, eres Pedro Picapiedras. <risa> y, y, y tú eres la hija de Pedro Picapiedra. 
Tú eres Pedro Picapiedra, <risa> con todas las pinches pedradas que te gusta estar echándole a la gente. ¿Cómo que tú lo aprendiste de mí? Y... Ay, yo antes ni decía nada, yo siempre estaba callada. Oye, según ella, bien callada, bien persinada la señora. Uh, esta Cocinar. señora no saben. No trabaja. Edith Lara, no trabaja. No, ¿Por qué no trabajas, Edith? ¿Quién te mantiene? Sí. Di la verdad. ¿No a me ver. podrán mantener a mí también? ¿Qué debería de ser tu nuevo nickname? Mi nuevo nickname. Um, Snow is Pebbles, that's me. Ella es la señora pedrada y yo soy Pebbles. <risa> Soy la, la señora eh, ma, Mama Love. Ma, ¿qué debería ser tu nuevo nickname? It says right here, what should be my new nickname? Yours or mine? Yours, mom, these oh. questions are about you, madre. Mm. Eh, ¿Cuál sería mi nuevo nickname? Nickname uh, sería. Uh, Alguien dijo que Meche. <risa> Meche. Meche. No, ¿qué es <risa> Mercedes. Mercedeso. Mercedazo. Este. Uh, soy la. La. Nomás la tóxica. La tóxica. Mami es la tóxica. Sí, soy la tóxica. What would I... No. ¿Qué fue lo último, la última cosa que googleaste? Um, What was the last thing you googled? Lo, mira, lo para recordar. Mira, lo para recordar. Va a ser una canción tuya. I'll look up the last thing I googled. Oh, I looked up that bed that I might buy for my brother and for myself. Zoom in, Ido. Wow. That's the bed. Am I buy it for Ido? Am I buy it for myself? For me in white, for Ido in black. What about you, mom? Pues no sale nada. Mira. Aquí sale, ¿verdad? Sí. I don't want to see it. No, Type... no, no, no. Ay, yo nunca busco cosas. Yo todo lo sé. <laughs> What? <laughs> yo no ando buscando ahí. Alguien trató de... ¿Qué? Carla, Carla trató de decir que eres la madre Ada. La madre Ada. dijo que eres la madre Ada. Oh, when you think, a when vez, you sí. think, when you think two, two Mira, good things fíjate. are going to equal one good thing, but really Mira. it's just... Ándale, <laughs> Eres la madre, eres la Ada, eres la madre Ada. <laughs> We, autobuses, México, Juchipila, teléfono de teléfono. En Old Navy Sandals en venta hoy. <risa> <risa> Computadora Nissan. De Mietre. mi camioneta. Frontier. Ok, y Mariano Carpe Carpetro. Carpero. Ah, se murió. Oh. Espérate. Yeah, these are depressing looks. Ok, let's... Espérate, se murió. Let's get out of here. Ok, mom. Car Carpeto de rondo. My mom out here being la madreada, as always. Um, let's see. La madreada. La madre Ada. Si tú fueras invisible, ¿qué sería la primera cosa que harías? If you were invisible, what would be the first thing you go do? ¿Invisible? Mm -hmm. ¿Podría ir a todas partes? A donde tú quieras en todo el mundo, invisible. ¿Qué sería la primera cosa que haces? Ah, voy para allá a visitar a mi mamá y mi hermana. Mom, you're not gonna be able to see the live, the dead people. You're just invisible. Ah, estás diciendo... O sea, si tú eres invisible, si tú puedes entrar a donde, a cualquier cuarto que eres invisible, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you get to mm -hmm. see people mm -hmm. that were, that died. Ah, invisible. Voy para allá para donde vive Luis Miguel. <laughs> Voy para allá para su casa. Are you serious? Sí, ahí me acuesto ahí un ladito de su cama. Mom, that's gross, mom. A un ladito, a un ladito de su cama, no en su cama, a un ladito, dije, a un ladito ahí. She'd go to Luis Miguel. Show, show who Luis Miguel is. My Yo mom would show up to Luis Miguel's house and lay down next to his bed. Mm -hmm. She said, not in his bed, next to his bed. Yeah. Pull him up, you know. If you're on the TikTok, my brother's pulling up a picture of Luis Miguel, who my mom would go to his bed and lay next to... Where his bed is at. Oh, hermosote. 
Nomás estoy esperando que un día me hagas el favor de ir a conocerlo en persona y tomarme muchas fotos con él. Una no, muchas. Nomás estoy esperando que ya tengas esa oportunidad. Así como fuiste con Gloria Trevi, me lleves. Como ya anda en todos lados él, a ver, a, a ver quién lo reconoce. A ver ya si. no te va a querer conocer con eso que estás toda... Tu... Yeah, I think he was cute when he was young. Look, when he was young. But now it's like, ma, come on. Hasta los ojos tenía de verdad así de ese color o se ponía pupilentes. No, son de ese color, ma. He's white, ma. Es italiano español. Es italiano español. Italian, eh? From Puerto Rico and Mexico? Wait, how sí. is he Italian, Spanish, Puerto Rican and Mexican? Porque él nació en Puerto Rico, pero su mamá italiana y su papá de España, pero ellos se fueron a México y se lo llevaron pequeñito. So he's a colonizer. Sí. And he became the son of Mexico? Sí, ahora es así porque él, él desde chiquito yo creo que está registrado en México, aunque nació en Puerto Rico, lo registraron en México. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, y él dice que es mexicano. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Open package. Entonces. Cuando calienta el sol. Aquí en la no. playa. <risa> 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 siento tu siento tu mano temblar Cerca dentro de mí. <risa> es <risa> tu palpita. <risa> la 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 la. Or Son tus besos. Ma, come on, carry the rhythm. Carry the beat. Come on. Cuando caliente el sol aquí en la playa. Yo le voy a cambiar el, el, el sonido. Siento tu cuerpo vibrar cerca de mí. Es tu palpitar. Son tus besos. God damn, she can't even carry the beat. Cuando caliente el sol. Aquí en la playa. Tarán. Uh, yo nunca he sido artista, lo siento, disculpen, ¿ok? Jamás ni en mis sueños. Uy, te iba a te iba a tener chacal, chacal, Miguelito, ¿eh? Ah. Es tu hijo favorito. Oye, Clau, ¿has mirado eh, eh, Don Francisco y Bad Bunny, lo, el meme que hacen de broma? Sí, I saw that, that was funny, pero eso oh, no es Bad Bunny. Ya es el... sé, es el imitador. Pero that was so funny, did you watch it, Ido? Eso está eso. It yeah, was yeah, hilarious, Yo como dude. me da risa Don Francisco, porque ese Don Francisco es bien chistoso. I feel like the, the imitator of Bad Bunny has got to be one of the funniest fucking shit ever, because he's just actually funny. <laughs> like, he's so funny. You said, God forbid he be white? Wait, what? Alexis? Oh, you ain't know? Oh, you ain't know? Cántala tú, no, es que no me la sé. <risa> Siento tu mano vibra dentro de mí. Te dice Clau, that's cute. Yeah, a lot of people call me Clau, ¿sí o no? Clau. Mm -hmm. People call me Clau. Fuera. That's the, the real... Um, ya, ya quisieran que jamás en la vida yo he cantado. Me. Nunca he cantado, jamás, jamás. Si a mí oh, me dijeran, tú quisieras ser cantante y te damos un millón de dólares, yo les voy a decir que no. <risa> Que no, porque yo no tengo talento, de verdad. Yo lo hago por mi hija, el apoyo de ella, pero yo nunca sería... Si me dicen, ¿quieres un millón de dólares y cantas? Yo no quiero cantar. Lo hago aquí por, nomás por apoyar a ella. You're getting a new bed show again? Yeah. Oh, Heather, are you in here? What's good? Yeah, I'm getting... I'm trying to get a new bed because my bed that I have right now is not that old. I'm not going to lie. It's like... Y la traes para mí, para que yo duerme en ella. You want it? Sí. Oh, yeah, because it's a king size here. Sí. Okay, I'll bring my, my bed over here y and I'll allá. buy a new bed. Okay, there we go. There. Sí. Now I'll really buy it. Oh. Yeah, now I'll really buy it if, if the king size bed that I already have is going to go over here. <laughs> es tan chistoso ese, el Don Francisco. Yo lo puse ahí en mi, en mi desktop. Puro Zacatecas. All right, we'll open that. Oh, can, oh, Alexis wants to know if my brother can answer some cards. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. ¿Cuál es eso? If you're on TikTok and you oh, if you're on TikTok I mean, and, you, box, and... and you and uh, you don't know why I'm doing this, it's because my brother plays sounds on my headphones and I sing to them for the YouTube. Because YouTube is my main bitch. TikTok is my side bitch. Not gonna lie, I be hanging out with my side bitch a lot. 
But my main bitch is my main bitch. I love you, mm -hmm. YouTube. Um, and I got a new package. And so I'm going to open my new package for my main bitch. Yeah, we already answered that. Yeah, I speak Spanish. <laughs> Don't be asking Edo questions. He already answered because he'd be pissed. Yeah, man. Sorry. Loose clues. Yeah, yeah it was. Loose clues. Package hey. inside a package inside a. I got a cannabis coloring book. Got two cannabis coloring books. And I got some cannabis merch. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Mom, do you smoke um, sometimes? Do you smoke? Do you like to smoke to sleep? Mm -hmm. Have you ever ate an edible? No. Do you want to? La mantequilla? No, edible. Edible. Como eh, marihuana para dormir. Ah, no. No, yo no ocupo. Hay. No, yo no ocupo. Pero tu novio hace edible. Sí, él sí. Oh, Pero shoot. yo no, yo, yo no necesito. Oh, shoot. More marijuana stuff. Damn. These people went all cannabis out. Mm. Thank you. To Pretty Stony. Make sure you guys follow Pretty Stony on Instagram. Pretty Stony sent me some Pretty Stony stuff. This is cute. Um, yeah, it's perfect for your arts and crafts <gasps> drawer that you made. I got coloring or oh, colored pencils in the in <laughs> their zigzaggy rainbow colors. Oh, oh that's cool. But, 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 okay, I, got... I like these. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make something with these. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Like, when you're really going through some things, when you be drawing or coloring, it does make time go by. And that's cool. Because sometimes all you're waiting for is time to go by between one depressive stage to another. Or next thing you know, you get a text or a call. And you're like, look at me. I'm loved. This is great. So it's good to pass the time. You can pass me some more if you want. I'm going to read another question while we get more. They say, y ves luego que a donde te pueden enviar, where we can send stuff. The P.O. Box is, you know, we have the P.O. Box up, right? Yeah, it's in the description of this. Hold mm, on, baby. let me see. I love you, baby. Mm -hmm. Um, dice, when I go home, when, what is the first thing I do? Cuando tú llegas a tu casa, ¿qué es lo primero que haces? Cuando llego a mi casa, uh -huh. eh, cuando yo, yo llego a mi casa, lo primero que hago es comer. <laughs> When I get home, the first thing I do is go to the restroom. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. Dang, that was a lot. Oh, this is so cute. What I love about mom by me. Oh, this is so fitting for me and mommy. Yeah. I, I'm going to fill this out and I'm going to fill it out for you, Ma. Okay. It says what I love about mom for me. I love your... And then I'm humbled by your... I love remembering a time we went with... I hope to be as, as you one day. It smells good. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Oh, shoot. This is for baby Drew to read. All right. We're going to have that for baby Drew to read. What is this? Una campana. Oh, God. That is so loud. A cowbell. Es esto cuando estés viejita y necesites una pastilla. Está bien grande. That's a big ass cowbell, bro. More cowbell. <laughs> oh my god. That's tight. This says life around. This is angels or angels? Angels. angels. This smells so good. Oh my gosh, are these bath bombs? These smell so good. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, this isn't just like some bullshit. 
honestly, whatever this one smells like, it reminds me of sometime, like, in my middle school or elementary. No, middle school. This is weird. It's like unlocking a memory in my brain. This is unlocking a fucking memory in my brain that I can't figure out, but I'm like addicted. <laughs> I fucking hate you, bro. You can't just let me have a nice fucking memory. To everybody that's on TikTok, if you didn't hear it, Ido's on YouTube making fart noises on the fucking. That's so dumb. <laughs> well, you're sniffing too hard, man. Because this is a memory. Like, something's fucking me up right now, bro. Oh, I'm like the fucking bear in the big blue house. Pull up the bear in the big blue house. Bro, this is fucking me up. ¿Qué te recuerda esto? And there's so many of them. This is so nice. Look at this. They're so like so many and they're so perfectly packaged. If you know me, I love perfectly packaged stuff. Smells like cornflakes. <laughs> pancakes. A glass mm. of milk. It's something swell. Mm. What's that smell? It smells like clean clothes. Tickling my nose. Warm pajamas. Soap as well. What's that smell? It's delicious. What's that smell? I'm suspicious. Toothpaste, grape juice. Wait, don't tell. What's that smell? What's that smell? It's something cuddly and something ugly. Special too. It's wonderful. It's lovable. Unique. Hey, it's you. Wait. Baby pancakes. You feel me? Bear big blue house. Bear in the big blue house. This says this is from Wait, what the hell? Oh yeah. Okay, well it said baby Drew, so I didn't want to read his note. But I'm gonna read it. Read it, you're his parent. I know, but I'm gonna read it. Because it says I love you, give your mom a hug and a kiss, tell her thank you. But it just says. Creo que él te lo trajo. No, no. I don't see a name. That's okay. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. That was me last night. If you guys send me anything, by the way, please put your name so that I could fucking um. No está en la caja. No, no, no dice en la caja. Allá en aquella grande. Esta. Mhm. No, it says Cuarí Feliciano. Okay. Oh, it says Aunt. The address is there on the screen. For y'all wondering, eight three zero nine Laurel Canyon Boulevard, number four one three. If you Sun send Valley. me, if you send me anything, send send me a note, just like for the sake of like, for me to be able to read for you and like talk to you. Um, I see a note from my son, which was very very nice. I appreciate that. Um, but I don't um I don't see a name other than Aunt. So I appreciate you, Aunt. Um, that's really fucking dope. Also, you sent me strawberry pound cake. If you see this and you want to hit me up on Instagram, then I will personally send a shout out to you. Thank you so much for this stuff. It smells really fucking, it smells really fucking good. Ma. Eh, alguien preguntó que si va a haber meet, meet and greet el, sar, el sábado. I know, we've been talking about doing a meet and greet thing. We got to post a, a link, maybe only for the day ones and the members or something, because honestly, yeah, I mean, technically it's dope. Los Angeles, so yeah. we're here. Hydration body cream. Oh shoot, this shit is thick. She thick. The best. Mm, oh 
Should this be ASMR. Book? Okay, you want to open this one? <laughs> oh, you're that guy from the <laughs> with the massage. In. Like a book. Open it, ma. Because she said, hug and kiss your mom. Oh, it said, that was a note for my son. For my son to hug and kiss me. Hey, my tattoos are looking really good with some lotion on them. Look at that. Who would have thought? <gasps> Who sent me this? Aquí está. I've I've read Artist's Way. So the Artist Way is a book that actually was very important to me. And I did read a long time ago and I haven't read it in a like fucking oh, Yeah, you have one there. Years. In the book I have it up there, right? So I have this book, but I'm so what are you laughing at? Winchester. Oh. I own this book. I read this book. I am very grateful that you sent me this book. And I will fucking read it again. Because this is very important for an artist. And this is probably one of the biggest reasons why I actually kept going in my music and in my artistry. Is because of this. So, thank you very much. Um, Again, bro, like, send me a freaking note. Oh, there we go. 12-week journey to... He wait, 12-week journey to healing and unblocking creativity blockage. Hope this helps you. Guzman Vavi. Hey, Denise. I fuck with you. So, Guzman Vavi, at Guzman Vavi. Um... Denise, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I know I don't always fucking reply, but you're awesome. And I really do appreciate you. And you did tell me you were going to send me a book. I appreciate you. Thank you. And I'll uh, send you a thank you later. Thank you. Ma. Mommy's getting violent. No, okay. Okay. Diamond Snowflake. Hey, this is for the... Christmas tree. Oh, that's cute. Put it on me. I'm gonna put this on the Christmas tree. Honestly, I need red ornaments. If no, you want to send me an ornament to put it on my tree, I will put it on my tree. I need todo rojo, red ¿eh? ornaments. Yeah. Todo en rojo, ¿eh? Yeah. Um, yeah. Lee poquito ahí mientras yo te lo pongo. Okay. <laughs> Señora, ¿cuál es su perfume favorito? Ay. ¿Le dijiste señora Claudia o a mí? A mí me gusta... You just noticed my cup? Oh, yeah, it's right here. I'm drinking water because after this I'm going to go live on TikTok and gusta... battle my friend um, Maria. Uno de este... De... Un perfume de... I really stopped it. Okay. Um, Ariana Michelle said, let's go. Hey, $2 for the cheese. Lydia Azul, baby, said $99 for the cheese. Ariana Michelle said, let's go, Chupito. <laughs> $5 for the cheese. Ariana Michelle Donated twenty dollars for the cheese. Young Legend Sounds said, "Hi, beautiful. Stay lit." E. Otis Hamilton Jr. Twenty dollars for the cheese. We out here. Lizzie J said, two dollars. New topic. Mama's next grandchild. Oh, we talked about that. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que mi tú. The, they wanted us to talk about that, but we did. The, yeah, we did talk about that. My mom wants a kid from my brother with a relationship, and she doesn't mind if I have a kid without a relationship. EMVV said, Muchas gracias por ser vulnerable con nosotros, Miss Snow. No se preocupen, muchas gracias a ustedes um, por dejarme eh, ser vulnerable con ustedes. Um, Jasmine Ray said, I have to say this. Message your assistant. I want to give 
you a freestyle coaching session no i'm not saying you look bad right now but if you're not working with a trainer or coach please let me know okay um thank you jasmine jasmine ray ps fan for 12 years in the business <laughs> thank you yeah i mean that's dope i appreciate that Oh, lifestyle. Okay, cool. Lifestyle coaching. And for some reason, I read it as freestyle, and uh, <laughs> freestyle I was like, coach. hold on. are we?" I imagined us just freestyling at each other, and I was like, that sounds terrible. Lifestyle coach, that sounds great. I like that. Melissa Ayala, four ninety nine for the cheese. We out here. Thank you so much. I appreciate <laughs> oh, you, um, Melissa Ayala. Um, would you love Native... Would you let Native American... Would you have Native American artists come to the podcast? Um, like, what kind? Like, if you're just a rapper or something, honestly, I don't care where you're from, what you do, where you're from. I really don't want rappers on the podcast. Like, I want to com to completely separate the podcast from, like, music as much as I can. I would really like to have the podcast become more of, like, lifestyle shit. So that's, like, everything from, like... You know, like anyone, like, you know, moms, grandmas, cooking, cleaning, fucking Latina shit, like woman, boss shit, like fucking every single type of thing. I, I really would rather not have it be music related. You know what I mean? Maybe so if mean it's like, like something strict, specific. You mean like them coming on because they're that a rapper? Yeah. Or if it comes like, you know, if it's a natural thing. If it's thing, a natural, then, like if it's an artist that I know personally or we have a friendship i would like that things that are genuine but like am i just gonna interview rap artists like i don't i don't want that you know what i mean like what are we gonna talk about yeah oh you rap <laughs> it's like i rap <laughs> like what the fuck that, i don't want to talk about that i want to talk about um just life i almost rather talk about being native american than i rather talk about you being a rapper that's just what it is you know um, and that's kind of where I'm going with the podcast. I want to talk to people that do things that I don't do. So I'd rather talk to a chef, you know, or like anything. Um, ¿Qué, qué para Texas, ahí, Mexicans are native to this continent. We fucking Look. know that vaquero vegano. Like, literally, yeah. I'm so fucking like, duh. Look at. I think TikTok has made it to where like now no when idea. I hear people say some basic ass shit, it's like, duh. Yeah, this was a thing until these comments started coming in. The fact that there are so many Christmas cards with gay cardinals is giving me life. Female cardinals are not red. Did not know that. Which means so many gay cardinal Christmas cards. Look, they're a family. Aww. I'm so happy for them. Warm wishes indeed. Just in time for the holidays. <laughs> Here's a box set. Pass them out to the... Que los cardinals, hombres, son rojos. Mm -hmm. So cuando la gente pone tarjetas que son dos hombres felices con sus babies son son hombres so son ah, gay ah ok o sea que la, la mujer es la amarillita uh -huh. oh. so que hay un montón de felices los hombres juntos quiere decir que son gay que no sabíamos nosotros que eran dos hombres los pájaros pero qué bueno está bien toda la vida ha existido yo creo no es que no sabíamos ya yeah. nobody knows that that's good that's nice she's <laughs> Yeah, on the birds. Years. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think I think we're good on the podcast, right? Oh yeah, yeah, we're two hours, but it's also oh, it's also the point. Yeah, uh, but we're gonna see you soon because we're things. gonna do more and more and more. Right? Yeah, we're gonna do more. As you guys no, know, no, on no, Tuesdays no. we're gonna be streaming on the podcast. I love y'all. This Tuesday I will be streaming. We 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 will be doing other stuff. Hopefully without the awkward moment in the beginning, but it's all right. We're gonna fucking massage Gracias. this thing through. Thank you guys so much. Y I appreciate luego. you guys. Um, my mom will Thank still you. stay here for the rest of this week. As you guys know, I have a show on Saturday. Um, I have a show December third. Please pull up to the show this December 3rd um, in LA at the Novo. It's going to be fucking dope. This will be my last show of the entire year. I have one more show in Mexico City, but that's like a corporate event. This is my last show for fans. December 3rd, LA. Please show up. If you are not showing up, at least help me promote it. Help me promote the video. Spread the word. Help me spread the word. Um, and I will fucking appreciate that forever. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys here on Tuesday, right? Yeah. Tuesday, el martes. Up until then, um, I'm so happy that you guys are around. Please stream my la my latest project. It's called To Anywhere. And uh, thank you. That's it. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. See you soon. Esa niña no se aguanta. Quiere todo porque el pussy sabe a fanta. Si la dejas por pendejo se te casa. Dale todo dos de lengua y una horchata. 
Si te alcanza I'm the shit, huh? Are you catching what I'm going for? I pick up Same bitch I always was, now I'm just richer I'm about to shake it up and check the Richter This a sticker You say some things your numbers don't say I got some kids with toys that don't play Kilo de azúcar pa' mi con flakes I don't need roses, pour me rose Yo soy Santa Baby, yo soy vale madre, fuck a chancla Lo que yo sí tengo mucho a ti te falta Y si quieres yo te enseño con el ram pa' pa' pam Ram pa' pa' pam pam No soy Santa Baby, yo soy vale madre, fuck a chancla Lo que yo sí tengo mucho a ti te falta Y si quieres yo te enseño con el ram pa' pa' pam Ram pa' pa' pam pam Don't try to play me, baby. 